hope all of you are having a fun time decorating this Halloween season. I know I have been. I am outside of my house right now and I wanted to do a little quick tutorial on how I made these spotlights for my gravestones in front of my house. Now I'm going to show you the gravestones and how we have them set up in front of our porch. Um, we had a little bit of a problem seeing them, which they look great during the day, but at nighttime you can't really see them. And especially once like trick-or-treaters come to the house and you know, I wanted my walkway to be inviting. So I wanted to find a way that would illuminate those gravestones and you know so that you could see them and it would like just set the mood a little bit better now we have a fog machine that we're going to be um, kind of hiding down in the bushes in front of our house and so the fog will be kind of rolling out underneath like the um, fence of our porch I just I thought that something needed to be needed to be done to like illuminate the ground a little bit better so I came up with this idea so here are, here's my walkway right here in front of my house and it's actually a pretty long walkway. It goes all the way out to my driveway and it's kind of, um, when people are coming to the house, it's kind of one of those walkways that is maybe a little out of the way. I would think a lot of like trick-or-treaters would like come running across the lawn, which is kind of what I wanted to avoid. So my plan was I bought these little skulls and I bought these from the dollar store and they're supposed to be glow in the dark. They're not really glow in the dark. I mean, I guess they are a little bit, but you don't really see them at nighttime. So my plan was I'm going to put some glow sticks inside each one of these, which that will light up a little bit more along this walkway. And we just scattered them every you know six feet or so all the way down the walkway so that at nighttime you'll know to come in this walkway area now once you get down closer to my front porch entrance is where I have all of my gravestones now the gravestones normally you can't really see at nighttime so that's why I wanted to make some sort of a lighting system so I'd actually seen on Pinterest someone made their own like spotlight system using beer cans and we're not well I should say my husband doesn't have a whole lot of beer cans he drinks beer a lot but he drinks out of the bottles so I didn't have beer cans and I didn't really want to go buy a whole you know case of beer to use the beer cans um, so I wanted to find something else that would work kitty you're knocking over my you're knocking over those don't do that so I ended up using plastic cups that I spray painted black. Now this is what they kind of look like. Inside is a Christmas light and they're the bigger Christmas lights. I'll show you which Christmas lights I purchased. But I used these just plain Dixie cups and I spray painted them black. And so what I did was I strung the lights so that they would go all in front of each one of the gravestones. You can see I also pulled the light bulbs out of the ones that were not in front of the gravestones. So I have one here, one there, over in front here. I have some more. And I only kept the light bulbs in the ones that were in front of each one of the gravestones. Just like that. and we tried it out last night and it works perfectly so i'm going to show you what it was that i purchased for light bulbs or i should say for the string of lights and i'll also show you um, at nighttime what it looks like so these are the items that you're going to need to make those spotlights for your gravestones for Halloween decorations. I purchased these, um, they're 25 C7 lights and it's 24 feet. 
Um, and I got these from Home Depot and I want to say they were like $8 maybe for the box. Um, make sure that whatever ones you get are the ones that if the one bur one bulb burns out, the other stay lit. Make sure that your box says that because you're going to want to take the light bulbs off that you're not using in the spotlight section. So those are the light bulbs that I purchased and I got them in clear. Then you're going to use um, like a Dixie cup or a plastic cup um, and you know, you can use any size really that you want. Obviously, I think the bigger the better um, because it will be easier to work with. Don't use the little tiny small ones. This one is like, I don't know how big this one is. I don't know. But I mean, compared to compared to the paint can, the paint, that's the size right there. Um, so what you're gonna do with the plastic cups is you're basically just going to lay them upside down on a you know piece of um, cardboard or you know whatever surface that you want to spray paint on obviously don't do it in the house because you need ventilation but I did eight of them laid them upside down just like that um, I use the Valspar project perfect paint and primer in satin um, and it's a black satin finish and I just spray painted the out the whole exterior of the cup black now don't do the interior just do the exterior I'm gonna give you a little disclaimer on this. Now, these lights get hot when they're on for a significant amount of time. So, when the light is inside this plastic cup, it could melt this cup, um, especially if it's left on for a long period of time. So make sure you don't use this project indoors and don't use this project anywhere that, you know, there's a potential for a fire. Um, and that's another reason why you don't want to spray paint the inside of the cup as well because the paint could possibly be flammable, which it probably is, and especially if it's um, you know near this hot light bulb, you don't want to have any fire issues. Um, but I'm basically just using mine on the night of Halloween, and they're outside, and we're gonna be right there watching. So you know, if any of the cups melt or whatever after we use it, oh well, we'll just throw the cups away. Um, so yeah, so spray paint your exterior of your cup black. Let those dry for like 24 hours. Once they're dry, you're going to then need um, a knife and some scissors and you're going to basically just cut a little X in the very bottom of the cup. Now this is kind of difficult to do. Be careful you don't cut yourself. I ended up having to take the knife and you know, kind of like stab the center and then cut a little bit and then you know cut again this way so it cut an X in the center um, then I used my scissors just to open up those slits a little bit longer and what I did was once the slits were open I pushed um, I pushed down and like folded the flaps in so that way I had enough room to slide the light bulb right through the bottom of the cup And again, I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like now. So now that you have your opening cut in the bottom of your plastic cups, you should be able to easily take your lighted portion of your um, the bulb and push it down through so that the plastic is the only thing touching the cup. So I'm gonna do that for this one, and then I had one more that I, need, that I needed to do for this one. Again, just be careful that you don't break the bulb, but just push it down through, and voila! There are your spotlights for your Gravestones. And that's what they look like during the daytime. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and go ahead and give a thumbs up. Happy Halloween, guys.